We are back once again. It's your boys. It's uh, your boys. For another Ruby reaction. Uh, About to drop the hottest album of 2023. Mm, Damn right. Ruby Volume 9, Episode 5, The Parfait Predicament. We're back to the alliteration now. My goodness. I missed the alliteration so much. I did too. Um, A cat most curious, you could almost say, is alliteration, but... Doesn't quite hit the same. It's on the border. It's not really there yet. Yeah. No, we we are back with another Ruby reaction, and I want to say thank you again for the positive feedback we've received. Been receiving mostly positive feedback. Again, got some uh, wise guys in the comments. (laughs) Got some wise guys. Quite literally, only people with Ruby profile, like Ruby related profile pictures, have been commenting. "Uh, Why are you so obnoxious? Like, man, guys, guys, guys. (laughs) Someone if can. you think we're right. obnoxious in these videos, you've never seen Firestorm. <laughs> no, no. And also, <laughs> I'm going to make it abundantly clear. Ask someone who cares. All right. So, oh, true. <laughs> just True. I, I don't care. Yeah, tell we're it to someone to who cares. We're here to react to Ruby and you're here to watch it because you don't want to pay for Crunchyroll or you just like having other people react at the same time and i understand that i have watched yeah. other youtubers in the past just react to things before because like i also like having that other person there kind of like it's a cool thing like, and not hearing their thoughts about stuff as well i get why reaction videos do pop off so i'm not being judgmental at all when i say hey you're here instead of crunchyroll yeah, i get it don't worry i get it yeah so you're broke and can't pay eight dollars a month for crunchyroll <laughs> that's why we're here you're welcome that's fine that is fine all right. Well, I don't think there's much to get into. I haven't Probably actually not. read a lot of um, anything to do with the last episode leading into this one, other than, <clears throat> uh, damn, Ruby got kicked in the metaphorical balls. And, yeah. Um, that that must have sucked for her. Like that was the low blow. Big boomf. Yeah, it was. So I'm curious if they're going <clears throat> to continue beating her down. I'm curious if they're going to start flipping the script a little bit or i'm curious if um we're gonna see john or anyone else i feel like probably not because we are now like after this episode we're halfway through the series halfway through the dang so dang still no john still no john who knows where we'll be after this episode so um yeah Yeah, let's let's get get into it say yeah i'm ready to go let's get into it all right we're playing in three two one go Man, you know, I never thought about how their logo is literally a rooster and then teeth. You gotta, I appreciate it. Man, you haven't opened your mind. Your yeah, I mean, that, I mean, that's, future. that's, that's fucking marketing right there. That's how you it design is. a logo. Oh, so you're called Rooster Teeth? Here's a picture of a rooster and a picture of teeth. You're welcome. My, he- my work here is done. <laughs> I've started learning the lyrics to this. I don't know, I, I, I think it maybe it's just the openings I have a bias towards, but, like, there's one song from every soundtrack that stands out to me. Luckily, it's not always the opening. But, I like yeah, There song. hasn't been a... Well, I think the only other song with Casey on it has been the one from Episode 3 so far. Yeah, the, so, the trumpet one. The yeah. jazzy one. The trumpet one. <laughs> The one with the with the trumpets. Brothers, that. Yeah, that is Bro, where where are we gonna see that fucking weird upsy townsy two turb turvy what's it called thing? I want to see that. Where's that at? And will we actually see Alex, considering <clears throat> how much he's featured in the intro? That's a little. Because the whole point of the fairy tale was that she escaped. <laughs> yeah, she seems to just be here, chilling, being chilling. And also the two sets of footprints. That still annoys me. Why are there two sets of footprints? Hopefully we learn in the next six episodes, including this one. Hopefully. <laughs> you run! <laughs> Red Riding Hood moment. I'm so glad the four of you are still the four of you. <laughs> Not always the case in the ever after. You're the one who ditched us in the first place. 
Which, by the way, was how we ended up in that mushroom house to begin with. You know, where that delirious caterpillar guy tried to drug us and then was swallowed up by a freaking <clears throat> hole in the ground? Ah, yes. Yeah, where did he go? <laughs> reaction the first he, time he's gone for everyone else to do the ever after. But it's not how it seems. Well, I suppose it is. Oh, well, all right. If you think like Alex, <clears throat> which it seems like you do. No, they just read where the fairy tale. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? We're here. Where? More mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, wait, are they at the base? Oh, no, no, they, oh, no it's this, this shot. <clears throat> This is cool. This does look cool. Better run. Red Riding Hood. That's a sturdy lily pad. So, cat. It is. Going to explain to us how a giant caterpillar disappearing into a hole is how it seems? There you go, girls. Back on the shoulder. When we break or wear out or simply finish what we were made to do, we're called back. But her, his heart was too weak to listen. So I gave him a little bit of mine. Is he dead? <laughs> no, no. <coughs> well, maybe a little bit. Well, no. Oh. Which is it? <clears throat> now that herbs. Yeah, I'm. I'm a little too stupid to get this too. And made into the herb he wanted to be when he was still herb. Then he'll come back and find his purpose. Could be the same as before, or maybe not. So when you fulfill when the job, back, the task you were given, you remember anything? You you're called be back. Re you're called back to the Lord in heaven or whatever. Yeah, you you called Just back to the middle. You lot. I know, I know. Nice Where stretch, bro. Things die, but we're just not cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Dying is cringe. That's impossible. Things have to die someday. Right? Well, goodness, no. Though I suppose. I mean, ever after. Creature. I... <clears throat> no, no, that's not the sort of thing you talk about in polite company. Weird. Interesting. Wait. Hot, fresh, so, right on... what happened to Herb? Is. Wait, that what is he selling? I want some. Come on, try our mud cookies. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, our blunt cookies? You fucking no, mud, mud cookies is what he said. Oh, my God. No. Yeah, he's selling edibles on the street. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's the ever after. What do you expect? Yeah, exactly. If, you're, if, you're, if you stay alive forever, you never die. What else do you have? supposed to be nice. He's meant to play the game and win. No matter what. Sounds boring. So that's why he cheats when the Red King didn't. But that still doesn't explain why the Red Prince was so much meaner. While the prince may not remember Alex's yeah, he's a child. after ascending, the heart very rarely forgets. But How do we hear this cat above all the noise? Story. Of course not! Exposition is terribly boring. Even this conversation was oh, oh, yeah, true. rather tedious. Well, I wonder what else Alex left out. I agree. He is calling out to the whole of Ruby. Day, one needs yeah. a bushel of grumpy ivy, one good sized spicy potato, the lint off a of griffin's sweater. Ethel's dragons and more should have that, which is right next to. I'll never remember all of that. <laughs> I can procure those. But there's another ingredient we must have that's only available on the third level. Are we making oh, they're actually making the, the mech, yeah. they're making the parfait. <gasps> What if you retrieve that while I go get the rest? Well, what's the disgusting sure. thing? I, I, guess I don't know. Wonderful. We'll have to find out. <laughs> I missed it too. She'll have it. Now, I'm trying to remember <clears throat> like, half the conversation he had about like how once you're done like fulfilling your tasks, you get brought into the tree or something. You get brought to the center. Guess I better go with the cat. And then, yeah. Distracted by a shiny doorknob and never come back. Yeah, and, and then you. you get to be reborn or something as, as what you wanted to be. Please. Something like that. You, Ruby. <sighs> oh, nose hairs. I heard why I say nose hairs. Nice try, kitty. But we're coming along. Da -da -da, get on the cat train. Well, they just Choo -choo. 
Yo! His shit just got jacked! Oh my god. He got mugged. Now he has no pro- he has no products left to sell. Little, don't fall asleep. Aw, <laughs> oh, he's dead. Teapot lady, Teapot lady, uh... Teapot lady. Teapot lady. Oh, did you bring pliers, Ruby? I hope you did. How else Ruby's are you gonna get getting, nose hairs? It's getting dork. It's getting dork. I was a little sleeping through this. What a madman. Hey, cool. Oh! Yeah. Any sword? Don't mind if I do. Whose store is this? Does that one interest you? Oh. Oh, it's this one! The Armored Lady! I thought this was lost forever. How do you have it? Nothing. No one is ever truly lost. <gasps> and what of you? Whoa. She's seen, st she's seen shit now. Are you lost? No, no. I just... My friends went somewhere else. I need some nose hairs. Got any? <laughs> all alone? Uh, Ruby? I don't think we're supposed to be here. Are you her guide, little one? Yes. Ruby is my friend, and I want to help her get home. Even though I don't know where that is or how to get there. I appreciate you trying, anyway. Mm. You seem to be carrying a rather large burden with you. I'm fine. I can handle it. If you change your mind, you may choose any one of these you like. And set your burden down. Oh. What? Uh, was that? have a weapon. Alex's dagger. And yet, here you are, searching. Can't argue with that. That you do not even know. Ruby. Was that summer? Did you retrieve the no tear? Come on, try our blood cookies. They're delicious. Uh, That's in them. Look no. like <coughs> summer. Not just yet, but Ruby, come on. We got everything else. I, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Wait, so, so was it? Is that the teapot lady? Well, it didn't look like Ruby in the reflection. It looked like summer. No, no, no but I'm wondering how she saw how that. she saw all of that. Yeah. Looking for nose hairs. No, not the ogre ones. Uh. Damn, you just wrecking her merchandise, bro. Leave her alone. Ooh, oh, danger. <laughs> danger, danger. <laughs> danger. Not a cel not celebrate. Wait, danger. We need those leprechaun nose hairs. Oh, leprechaun oh. nose hairs, specifically. Not just any nose hairs. Trading her emblem. Wait, what's a Jabberwocker? It's a truly terrible creature. If the Jabberwocker eats one of us, we do not ascend. Huh? How Ooh. do we make the parfait thing? Toss everything in here. But be careful. Eat too much and we'll have to shrink you back again. And that's a completely oh. different potion. Oh, so this will turn them big. Oh, I see. Apparently. I don't know how that works. Oh. Get hey, off the table, get off the effective. table, Yang. Quick, go faster. Oh, they grew a little going. bit. Oh, it's, the, oh, it's him. Oh, oh, oh my. We have a name. Oh, oh the parfait. Oh, he's gonna. Don't wait, make is he gonna get big? big. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, but he's. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. No, no, he is. Oh, he is definitely getting bigger. Now they're plush toy sized. <laughs> Good buddy! What's he doing here? 
I gave him something new to do for the moment. Now go. Your friends need to get big again, or we're Jabberwalker dinner. Did you influence the bird with your heart? He convinced. Quote unquote, convinced. Hey, you want to yeah. lick it off the floor? <laughs> I like plush toys. Oh, the rusted like knight! Yang. Oh, it is, yeah. He does look very rusted. It's the rusted knight. Get the parfait! Damn! My boy just did a drop kick. I really, I really. People have been saying he looks like John. Finally. I saw his. There we go. Here we go. Another song! Ruby, follow me! Where? Let's go, girls. Giddy up, motherfucker. Giddy up, bitch. Ooh, that was nice. Oof! Oof! Yeah, these three work together well. Huh? Oh wait! What? What? Oh, there's more. So supposed to be one. Oh! Oh, but Neo uses her yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. What? So Neo didn't kill it. Neo made more. Oh no! Oh shit! So that's why oh, I was the such bird. a weak little bitch. That bird just got fucking slaughtered. You gonna talk, brother? Oh, he talks and he has like the fucking sexiest voice. Damn. First she got all her merchandise jacked and wrecked by the cat, and now this. I am so tired of leaving places in ashes. Who can blame you? Yeah, man. <clears throat> I can't believe it. The rusted knight. In person. Good, Juniper. Oh, he is a good person. Oh. Jean what? Ruby. It's Sean's ancestor! Finally made it. it totally is. Wait, Remember so... Remember how Sean had a great-great-grandfather that yeah, was... Yeah, so what? John could already be here. Oh. The, it, yeah, he had a great-great-grandfather that... Wait, that could be John. Maybe? That could be. Yeah, but it seems I like he, it seems like what he was doing was, or like the way from the way you said that, it seemed like he was, uh, like he had been told about them. Yeah. Okay. And also, um, <clears throat> his sword looked like John's old sword. Just FYI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It totally did. So yeah, ah, I think this guy, shoot. this guy, is John's like ancient ancestor because i remember he literally said oh look john, john as base left. narrow eyes use john as base <laughs> oh thank you uh well that outro. makes it easy doesn't it yes because i remember it was like the first the second or third episode uh <laughs> where john and ruby are talking out in front of beacon it's like yeah my great great grandfather like fought in the war or was an ancient hero and it, and his sword was a hand-me-down so I feel like this must be his great great grandfather, and his armor was still... probably a hand me down too. Jesus! <laughs> and somehow he still has his sword. Damn, that's. I'm hoping we see John next episode, or at the very least, if the rusted knight is like, if he, I don't know, if he's here, and then John, who's lost like all of his will, 
because he's had to kill his friends and he's been through so much shit, like, he gets inspired by his ancestor, then that would be a reason for John to keep going. Like, he's right. got his ancestor there to help him out. Like, yeah. that, that is really cool. And... What a swell guy. Yeah, he seems like him. a very, very, very swell man. Yeah, that's, that was mm. cool. I like that. I trust him more than the cat. Uh, definitely. <laughs> yeah. The cat's a Actually, well, I I don't remember how I found this, but I was like going through. I might have just been like while I was like watching back the the video from last week's reaction, but I saw like the voice actors for Little and the Cat, and they're both people I recognize. Um, the 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 cat is the same voice as another character from Persona Five, who I have feelings about, and now I can't unhear it. Right. So. It's, <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to go pretty similarly, but yeah, it's, um, it, it's, I, I don't, I still don't know what to make of the cat, to be honest with you, but I, I did enjoy that. And I, again, I think it's moving pretty along pretty fast, but I'm cool with that because I feel like there's a lot they need to do. I feel so, like there's going to be, yeah, cool. like, fuck all fights. Like, like we've had two one against the chess pieces was pretty good that one against the one Jabberwalker barely lasted a minute um if that so yeah that, that it's gonna be yeah like I've heard other I've read other comments and like people but there was one comment saying oh, I don't trust the cat and I agree with that guy there was another comment that was saying something <coughs> about like his uh, he, he explaining what he thought things meant and then also said, oh, this uh, this volume seems to be nothing but talking, and if we don't see any of the uh, vacuo or anything like that, then or, or anyone else, then yeah, this is probably a filler season. Which, mm. yeah, I mean, that's fine. Like, we're, we're giving these guys a reason to keep going and keep yeah. fighting. And I'm okay with that. And I... Yeah. What, one thing, though, I'm curious how they're going to go about it. I d one thing mm -hmm. I do want to see is like a fight between Neo and Ruby. A lot of people are saying they want to see an actual fight go down. Yes, and then I agree Ru with that. Ruby just admit like, I don't know why you're so upset at me. I didn't kill Roman. I didn't do anything, any of this. You worked for Salem. You're the bad guy here. And then Neo's like, what the fuck? What? What the hell? <laughs> fuck, you're right. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> yeah, like I feel like it's gonna. Something like Neo is now in charge of all these Jabba Walkers and like a little army of themselves. I feel mm. like they're gonna have to somehow con because like, how the fuck are they gonna beat them all? I feel like they're gonna just try and convince Neo to stop it, and then like through that they like they realize Neo is not bad, and then she turns good or. Just kill her. I hope they don't just do that. I hope they do help her turn face, but we'll see. Yeah, That's where I'm I don't. I wouldn't want her to die either. I don't think. Like I think she's either. Too cool. the, yeah, and now that we know she is actually hell bent on ruining, but not not ruining the ever after, but because I think because she's hunting Team Ruby or like Ruby at the very least. Uh, she's willing to put flame to fucking everything, and like all the Jabberwockers just destroyed all that shit just then. So yeah. you know, it, it's more than likely that she's <clears> just gonna fucking wreak havoc. Because one of my thoughts was that I don't know if I mentioned it last episode, but like Neo, because she's so in tune with the Ever After, she could just stay here and just live in the Ever After. Like everything just works out for her here. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I don't. Would, want I mean, that, that would almost that, make sense. Yeah, like, like if they don't want to turn her face and if they don't want to kill her, she stays in the ever after. Yeah, I, what I, I didn't notice it during the intro before, but when I watched it today, I noticed how the at the like one of the last, like basically the last cut of the opening is, uh, showing cutting from like fading from neo to alex and they have the same pose basically which yeah. kind of stood out to me and i don't know why that is like you know obviously we don't, they were going to find out later but like that that feels weird you know so i feel no. like that signifies something 
the whole thing with the painting as well, like that painting image where it goes down from Rusted Knight, Alex, and the Jabber Walker and all this, and then Neo's at the bottom before yeah. it transforms, like turns into Alex. It's, it's almost like she's already a part of this story. Like she's already yeah. here. So that, that that's what kind of made me thought, will Neo stay in the Ever After? I hope yeah. she doesn't. Because she is OP as fuck, and they could really use her on, yeah. the good, on the good guy's side. So, yeah. If the conclusion of this volume is everyone is like a semi-new version of themselves, they've, self-realized, like they've realized what they need to do to succeed, and um, like, and Neo turns good, or something happens with her, and then like, and Jean is revitalized as well. If that's the way the volume ends, then good. But I don't know why. I also feel like there has to be another goal with the Ever After. I feel like they're somehow going to find out how to defeat Salem. I that would make like, sense. I feel like they're somehow going to figure out how to beat <clears throat> Salem down here. I don't know if it's through old man John, like uh, John's ancestor. I don't know if it's through mm-hmm. like just something they find here or if it's the cat. Like, I'm not sure, but I have a yeah. feeling they're somehow going to find the answer here. It would it would absolutely make sense if they did because that seems like a second to last season thing to happen, you know, like right before the uh, right before the final battle, they'll be like, oh, this is this is what we've been missing. Here's the missing piece we need to defeat the immortal Salem. That whole oh. shebang makes sense. So, I hope I hope they do find that stuff out because like that would like I already think seasons like like this season is focusing a lot on like the development of the team themselves, like self development, if you will. But like. I, I I wouldn't consider that filler personally, but just even though it doesn't actually progress the story itself, but if they actually find out like totally crucial information, like that's a game changer, you know, like yeah. that makes the season whole, totally worth it. Yeah. So that's what that's what went through my head. Like, what yeah. are ways they can make this more than just a seemingly filler f- uh, season or volume? Yeah. Either like find a solution to defeat Salem or fight a like get neo on the good side this is the only weapon that could ever defeat salem you'll only find it in the ever after i that. feel like it's gonna be something <laughs> like trapping her in the ever after or like doing some bullshit magic to trap her because like truly defeating her is like the the, the way they have to is that they have to prove that the world has improved since the gods left they have to prove that everyone yeah. is in peace and harmony. And mm-hmm. as long as Salem is around, that won't be possible. So, yep. yeah, but they have a long way to go before bringing peace and harmony anyway, because, like, the world, like half the world is fucking destroyed at this point. Well, yep. like, yeah, like, three of the four kingdoms are completely... No, not completely. Vacuole's fucked. Um, <laughs> where yeah. Beacon is, is still in ruins. And then the second place, I've already forgotten what it was called. The second area they Don't rescued, me. but Lionheart died. But that was but it, mm. it was still alright. So yeah, no, it's um hmm. Who knows what's gonna happen, but that that's my uh theory my theories at the minute. That's what I've been thinking about. There you go. But uh that was a good episode. It mostly it was. just to get the girls back to normal size. And, yeah, that whole thing with the blacksmith, uh, interesting. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. Uh, How I did think, she get like, there? <laughs> How did she get there? What, what does it mean? Like, your weapon reflects you, who you are. And then, like, that was Alex's dagger. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's what she was in the direction of. Penny's sword. And I swear to God, that was Summer Rose. I want to actually go back to that. <laughs> I'm going to go back to that shot, because I swear to God, that was Summer. That could be. Uh, I don't... Yeah, 950, uh, 956. That that does not look like... It doesn't look Ruby. like Ruby. No, it doesn't. To me, that's Summer. It does look like a relative, though. Yes. So I would agree. So that so some of them would have, yeah because that uh, that's like an oh, it's a gun axe 
look, there, there's it's oh, yeah. oh no, it's like a mini yeah. So it looks like a prototype to Crescent Rose. It's like an yeah, axe, it but it's shaped like a scythe. The, um, yeah. the scythe. It looks like it come out more, and there's like a gun trigger. So if that was Summer Rose's weapon, that would make a lot of sense. Yes, that's cool. Huh. Cool stuff. That's a little. Well, it's pro- that's probably not even the Easter egg. That's just foreshadowing right there, ain't it? <laughs> so this Something blacksmith that. that this blacksmith that appeared out of nowhere had Penny's sword, which was kicked into that bush. Then again, she could have dropped more than one sword. Who knows? Alex's dagger and somehow Summer's weapon. So are you telling me that Summer ended up in the Ever After? Is that what you're saying, Show? Rooster Teeth, answer us right now. Come that on, could where actually... Are you? Imagine that plot twist <clears throat> at the very end. <clears throat> Ruby is lost all hope, and then her mother just appears. And it is there to help. Like, Dang. that would be... That would be nuts. That would be nuts, because, like, Salem did say your mother said those words to me, and she was wrong too, but, like, doesn't mean she killed Summer. Someone could have done something and got trapped in the ever after. Yeah. I, Man, I don't know if they would bring her back completely, but yeah, oh. I feel like she would at least make an appearance. Oh. Like a dead, Ooh. a dead person appearance, like from beyond the grave. Yeah, this episode has opened up so many. Well, at least in my head, open up a lot of solutions and a lot of answers that could come later. Like this is this is this episode has given me more to think about than the others. I, I I'm I'm a fan of this. I, I can't wait to see what happens next. Oh man, we'll have well we'll have to wait for next Saturday. Dang. Oh, we have to wait for next week, guys. I I'm so sorry. One of the top comments <sighs> says his name is Juniper. I didn't know if I didn't hear him. Whose name is Juniper? The, the, oh, the ancestor. Yeah. No spoiler. I don't know if that's true, but oh well. Because the guy, he the guy did say Team Ruby finally made it, so he knew Team Ruby was coming. You're right. Yeah. And I'm just rewatching that part. Because, yeah, the sword looks near identical to John's first sword. Oh, no, Juniper is the deer. Juniper is, like, the animal. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Someone did comment that the scythe was Summer's weapon. Yeah, no. That would make sense. Yeah. So it is definitely her. Yeah, so Juniper is the animal. Alright. Alright, well, there you go. Cool. Uh, Summer? <laughs> <laughs> I love one of the comics. I was laughing so hard at Blake processing the fact that her fairy tale childhood crush was just John. <laughs> get get right now. Dang. Everyone's like, John, everyone's like John at one point. <laughs> True. I'm still of the belief that it's the ancestor. It's not. It's not. Yeah, Ren's Ren's taken the other, but every other woman has liked John at some point. Yeah, true. Now I have a feeling it's still John's ancestor and not John himself. But then again, oh yeah, it's not the John, o- okay. the opening shot. Like one of the few shots in the opening was John in front of a bunch of clocks. So maybe he somehow got aged up. Who, uh, I'm honestly, wondering if he just got like consciousness transferred into his ancestor. Like it's 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 him, but he's in the body of his ancestor, some shit like that. Maybe. You know, at this point, we'll figure out next week because I'm sure we'll get those answers next mm. week since we're right here with him. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you're gonna leave comments about how we're obnoxious or annoying or how we got everything wrong. Uh, tell someone that cares. But if you have any mm. other opinions or theories you want to let us know about, put them in the comments. You're more than welcome. But thank you very much for tuning in. Yeah, Tune I want to hear all week. your theories. No, we do actually. There has been Ruby a little bit theories. of lightning. Yeah, it's been very helpful. 
Uh, yeah, subscribe to Gus, subscribe to Firestorm, subscribe to me. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you next week. Later.